Hello, it's Liz, shooting again from the Hilton Grand Vacations Hokalani in uh, Waikiki, which is on the island of Oahu. It's uh, the kids and dad, dad are out at the pool. I'm still nesting. I like to put things away when I'm here. So I figured, since I've been making videos on what I've been bringing, figured I'd do a little one on my dry makeup case and other makeup. I don't really wear makeup. I'm just too lazy, honestly, for it. And so I use this cloth covered case. It's old, it's dirty, but it's okay. It's done its job for me. I emptied everything out because I video, I taped it once before. Sorry for the glare. So you open it up. It's got a place for brushes. So I put brushes and like um, liners and stuff like that in there, or one liner. And then this is where all my makeup fits. Yeah, I don't wear a lot. I don't bring a lot. Or I don't know, maybe it is a lot. Um, so I will go over brushes first and I have a mix of high-end and low-end items and first one is this MAC 9 brush it's I don't know the names I apologize I use it for eyeshadow um, like by my lashes I don't know I don't know in the crease I don't know what you call it but I use that I also have a MAC 22 and it's got this slanted edge and it's not too firm anymore it's pretty old but it still does its it does it it works for me I use it for um, when I use eyeliner as like um, I mean I shadow as a liner eyeliner so I use that for then I have this same S-A-N-E so here it's a, it came with this um, cover, and it's like a blender brush, I suppose. That's, I use it for eyeshadow, like when it's for all the lip. Here is the name. Before I forget, I don't even remember where I bought this from, but it was so long ago. I, I want to say it was at Bloomingdale's when it first opened up in West LA 20 years ago. This is another no-name brush that um, is like a Sigma dupe and it was based off of uh, what a girl on YouTube and I can't remember her name right now. If I find that video of hers, I will link it in the down bar or about bar or whatever it's called. But I want to use this for concealer. I plan on buying concealer while I'm here. This is a MAC 36 and I use it for eyeshadow. I don't know the technical what what part, but kind of like in my crease, I guess, to help it. It's like pretty, I pretty much a mono lid. Then I have a Laura Mercier. What does it say? Corner eye color brush. Looks like this. So I'll have to put the darker colors when I decide to put that, which I don't really do very often. I have a Bobbi Brown. Um, this kind of little brush. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's for ultra fine eyeliner. And I bought that when I bought this gel liner so many years ago. It's pretty much dried out, but I can still it still works for some reason somehow. It's the sepia ink. I have it upside down. And it's not focusing. But yeah. I made somewhat of a dent in this thing. I try to use it, but as you can probably tell, it's all dried out if you know anything about makeup. But this one I put, I didn't know. I just put it in my 3-in-1, um, you know, to go uh, liquid bag because I have no idea. It says gel, so. I also have the Shu Amura number 10 synthetic fiber brush that I use for eyeshadow. Don't ask me. I don't know where I just kind of put it on. And then I tried this. I bought this. Um, it came with one of four. I think it was like a buck something, a buck ten. Um, it's the Angle Kabuki brush. And it's a Sigma dupe. There's nothing written on it. And it's nice and dense. It's really soft. And I, forgive me. I don't know. People use it for blush, foundation, uh, contour, whatever. But I want to uh, try to play with this this week. So that is my brushes. Another thing I also brought was a creamy lip liner. 
It's the Plum 4 AA2 by Bobby Brown. And I bought this years ago. And so I'm just going to use this to color in my lips. And then either use one or two um, lip glosses. Because I'm just not in the mood to do lip line. I mean, uh, lipstick. Plus I forgot it. So this is the Bobbi Brown Summer Lip Gloss. This is old. Oh, geez. And does it say... Um, Shimmer Lip Gloss Brilliant. Oh, golly. Kerr Sugar, K-I-R Sugar, number seven. It's a nice little color. Like a berry. Ooh, where is it? like that one. It looks nice on me. It looks very just sheer. And then I also have my Laura Mercier that the thing fell off years ago. I also bought this about the same time. And it has that kind of applicator. And it's a nice soft pink. More, it's a more pink color. More pink. So these were with my liquids. These weren't in there. Um, and in here also had this Dior IOD or IOD um, I cannot read French or speak French, so it says it's a, it mattifies and unifies the T-zone face. And I like putting it on, it's a little powder, like kind of poofs. Poof it onto your hand. It's almost out, see. And then I just pat it on my T-zone, and it kind of feels a little wet when you put it on, but then it doesn't leave any marks or anything. And it helps not so much mattify, but it helps it so I don't get all shiny since it's so warm. And what else? I have this Perfect Brows by Chanel. This is also very old. Let me see. I'm going to open it without... still has the plastic in it. It has... it's cool. It has tweezers and it has these kinds of brushes and still have the plastic. Uh, whatever that kind of a brush is and then the actual brush to put it on um, and I use this one is too dark for me this one is what I use most of the time and sometimes I that's too light but sometimes I mix them up just to play around and I am horrible at doing my eyebrows so I don't even know why I brought it but sometimes I may kind of try play since I am on vacation there's my little flip camera. I also have this very old studio fix from Mac. It's the um, C4. Oh goodness, Let's see if I can remember how to open it. There it goes. Nope. It has like that. It broke at one point, and it has still. I need to clean that. that um, sponge and then I brought four eyeshadows I don't have any palettes this was before the age of palettes this was also from back in 2003 and I know you're not supposed to keep makeup for so long but it is what it is I have this one so the black very black it looks almost black but it's actually a dark purple it says deep night so it's got a purple hue tint um, I, use, I like to use it as eyeliner as well and then like for the corners I use that fancy brush for that one that. Uh, for the deep night. now this is mauve this is a cute color I like purples I don't know if it's because I have brown eye, dark brown eyes but this is more of a light color um, and I use this down I don't know what the technical term is but on my eye on my eyelid down by my lashes but you know up a little bit towards the crease so it's a nice color um, what else I have this color it's a darker shade this is called Chambord and I use that on the outer color outer corner usually and then I have sandstone and this one I like to use as a highlighter Sometimes I just use it all over my lid. It's kind of, it's, these are mostly matte. They have a little shimmer, but not too much. That's my heavy opening. Um, the door to the uh, lanai. 
This is the Laura Mercier Eye Basics. It's an eye primer in bisque. And it's all these are so old, but they still work. They still stay on. They don't smell funny or anything like that. But I just wipe that on both eyelids whenever I wear it. Sometimes I wear it alone. This was in my liquids container also that I did in another video. My BB cream that my co-worker um, um, bought. Well, she uh, I gave her money and she bought this for me. This is what she uses. or. Um, yeah, so it's by hand skin, so I like that if I want some foundation type thing or, you know, moisturizer. And then I also have this old Benetint, and I like to put it on the girl's um, lips as well and use it as a cheek stain. So yeah, that is it. Not too much makeup at all because that's just how I roll. Anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll chat with you later. Bye.